Hello and welcome to another episode of Nothing. I have a really bad amp problem. Yeah, even Wu Tang knows he's tilting his head at me. I and it, like it's not like that bad, but I think Wu Tang. Well, he did. He chewed up a pop can. And and said pop can um probably spilled a little. I'm paranoid today. And my wrist hurts so bad. I think it's from the vaping. I think I think the ant have little poopies in my bed. And I've changed my sheets so many times. I'm so grossed out. I think my wrist pain comes from me vaping. And I'm also trying to stop vaping. I'm about two hours, no, maybe like an hour. <laughs> Product. Actually, I might cut that out. I don't know if I want you to know what it is. Some girl on TikTok, did, her video didn't even get a lot of likes, but I mean, she des deserves it, but she gave away just a great material. And I just don't know if I can have that material ruined by the public. You know, like art used to be good because it wasn't known. Things weren't known how to do this and that. Like, that's why it was like exclusive and shit. But like, nowadays everyone just sells their shit, trying to make quick buck. Cause we're all poor but like i'm just gonna enjoy the poor life god this shit's gonna be way overcooked it might be the pen that i hit at work talking or it might be the i don't <sighs> you're killing my bike i hear giggling i hear noises I've always felt like the one in my room will like light up randomly at random ass times. Like when I think it's watching me or something. Sorry, Brayden. I'm such a procrastinator. That's why I haven't um, painted that. Like, I want to go to sleep. I want to um, be able to wake up with a good night's sleep. It's just, it's two. And I want to go to sleep. I get way too paranoid with my medicine. I literally only take vitamins. But it's just, I don't know why it makes me so paranoid. Like, I love what it does for me. And I honestly only remember to take it like every other week. Has, honestly, this kind of makes my hands feel better. In a sense. So I think this video is kind of helping me with my art lingo as of just now I just noticed because the professors do say you gotta learn how to talk to people and I would rather not talk to people maybe it's the bivance that's making me so antisocial for like medicational reasons I have ADD ADD combination or whatever. I hope these videos aren't too long. Like, I think this video right now is like 15 minutes or something. 
but I really hope it's not too long and I hope this is not too boring to watch because I mean as I'm editing this right now it's kind of boring but maybe it's because I lived through it <laughs> I don't know but I suppose you guys can just uh continue to keep watching me sculpt this little frame that I'm gonna be making into a mold it's um quite ugly I haven't made a successful one yet just because I keep hating how they turn out so I hope this is still in the process like everything I make is in the fucking process all the time but like Hopefully I'll finish it. Hopefully it turns out good. Oh, now we're um onto my hair for my um mannequin number two project. Actually, the other day I, I basically finished my first mannequin. Like, there's just a couple little things I need to do and then it's finally fucking finished. I've been wanting to get it finally finished. Like, totally, completely finished for so long. And soon that weight is going to be lifted off my shoulders once I figure out how to fix fix that um fucked up hand that you can actually see in this video with that... um. It's like uh, maroon and then there's that uh, yellow piece but like the hand when I made it the mold was just so thick like I, I, I put the fabric down too thick and then it it just looks like a freaking flipper or something it, it's just so ugly and I I gotta go in there and cut some fabric out and slap it back together I, I i don't know what i'm gonna do but i mean we'll figure it out well right now i'm i'm just adding that hair on there make it a little thicker because as you've seen in one of the other videos i made it yeah right there you can see it it looks thin so like i had to buy more hair and add it on or it i just wasn't gonna get the fullness that i wanted out of it i actually bought you can see that spray bottle in the left corner. I actually bought that. So like, if I turn it into a lamp, which I hope to, but I'm horrible about lighting things. I really want to figure out how to do the lighting properly, but I bought it. So it's like a fire resistant spray for fabric. And I'm, <laughs> cause I don't want to start a fucking fire with my goddamn hair lamp. like. I bought this hair off of Amazon. Who knows what kind of synthetic chemicals are in this thing, you know? Like, hell nah. I, that'd be so sad, but actually it'd be really entertaining. I've, I've always kind of wanted to like, like my, my mannequin number one, for some reason I just really want to set it outside. And I want it to, like, decay in the rain. I think it would be so awesome to watch it just crumble apart. I know that the only thing that would be, like, still standing in the end would be, like, the ceramic head and the, and the body. Because the body's plastic. Oh, but, uh, no one take that idea. I swear to God I'll kill you if you do. Maybe I shouldn't be making threats on YouTube. Um, well, anyways, now I'm trying to style the hair because she's looking rough and boring. And there, it's still kind of thin. Like, it's not as, the hair's not as thick as I'd like it to be. But, I mean, what can you do? I'm not gonna spend another $80 for more fucking hair. Like, I just can't do that shit. Oh, look at that Wu Ting. Wu Ting just follows me back and forth when I walk. It's so cute. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm basically just playing around right now. Trying to see what I can do to make this look a little bit better. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't even end up leaving that on, but... 
you can watch me oh the hair is just so beautiful honestly now that i think about it i think i um chose this like this idea probably because i shaved my head and i miss playing with hair so like <laughs> this gives me an excuse to mess around with some nice long luxurious hair and it was quite enjoyable honestly that's why i love making sculpture art just because i can use literally anything in the world to make anything and i think hair is really creepy and uncomfortable for a lot of people so like <laughs> Uh, okay okay so like i kind of collect hair from like my friends and my boyfriend ex-boyfriend and like in my dog even a little bit just because i want to make something out of it all one day I, I have a lot of my own hair too and a lot of people think it's really weird so i think this makes it extra weird if anyone asks I'm gonna say this is the shit that came from when I shaved my head because <laughs> they don't know the difference. I mean, actually, I think when I shaved my head, my hair was like green. So I could just say I dyed it or something, but it would just, <laughs> people are really uncomfortable about hair. I don't know why. Also like um, with the mannequin with the arms, like, I had like a studio visit with like a visiting artist or whatever and he was saying how like the arms being disconnected from like their original place is kind of creepy and I don't know I've had a lot of like body traumas in a sense not gonna go into depth but like I think it kind of has something to do with it like using the human body to create a form is just very therapeutic <laughs> for my soul I think and oh uh, yeah I don't even know man um is anyone watching this hi thank you for the one view honestly like I said in probably my first video that I don't really want publicity. This is basically like a little art diary for me. And if anybody actually sees it, it's gonna be like so embarrassing because it is embarrassing. I don't understand how people just like post their whole lives on the internet and they're not uncomfortable. Like I've seen so many videos where people are like, they watch a TikTok or something and then, and then they can just, find their location so easily and I think in one of my videos I actually had a shirt on actually I'm not gonna point that out never mind because I don't want you guys to know where I'm from and fuck I shouldn't have said that but I'm so deep into this voiceover that I can't stop it so oh yeah now I'm putting the hair in ponytails I'm, I, I have a head for the mannequin I wasn't really planning on using it, but now the hair is like, it looks like a curtain almost. So like maybe it would be kind of cool if the head just like hides back there behind all the hair. That could totally like signify social anxiety right there, you know? Hiding behind the surface i'm gonna have to come back to this video because i have so many good talking points now for if i have to explain this sculpture to someone i mean i'm literally not even making it for a class like right now i'm the only class i'm in is ceramics and you know i've kind of been thinking lately like i was kind of convinced to pick ceramics for my major and not sculpture because I, originally I wanted to do sculpture and then the professor was like no you should you should do ceramics and I'm like okay and I mean I like ceramics but like I don't like it the way I I, I enjoy making like actual sculptures and using different materials and stuff like 
ceramics is just so straightforward like I understand it's like classy in a sense but I ain't gonna be I don't want to throw shit on the wheel like that's like sure you can make some lovely things and event in next year I'm gonna master the wheel I'm literally gonna spend my all my time working on the wheel but like it's not a priority because I'm not going to be making mugs and selling that shit. Like, I, God, I really don't understand people having their little bit businesses and selling art. Like, sure, go you, way to make your coin, girl, but like, doesn't it just take the fun out of it and the love and just, and it also kind of just ruins the reputation of art like like ugh. I mean I don't know maybe it's jealousy for all the publicity that they're getting for their little shops and selling like their tiny little arts and crafts thing like yeah go you it's awesome you make some cool shit but like it's selling your soul to me because it's just mass production and it's just you got to spend all your time packaging and understanding the whole selling and shit but it's just so pointless to me oh shit the video is about to end uh see you later bye <laughs>